Yeah. Yeah, it's going. We're now going to demonstrate the uh, the RA17 working with the RA137B low frequency unit. Um, the low frequency unit is being switched on and warmed up, so it's ready to go. At the moment, we've got it switched to the 980 kilocycles to 30 megacycles position, which effectively switches this out of circuit. So it's just using the RA17 as normal. Um, and I'll give an example, the RA17 can listen to signals below 1 megahertz, but this, it's not particularly good, and particularly when you get down below 500 kilohertz, it's, it's pretty useless. There's a lot of spurry eye in there, um, which is just due to the way the circuit works. And this, the preselector doesn't work on frequencies below 500 kilohertz. So below 500 kilohertz, the RA17 isn't really any use. Um, but it will receive signals between 500 kilohertz and 1 megahertz, and I'll demonstrate that now. So set, 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 the, set the megahertz dial to zero or thereabouts. Um, and switch to wideband um, just to, to find, find a signal. You see there's something there about 8, 8, 820 kilohertz. This is zero, zero megahertz plus 820 kilohertz. So you just reading the directly off the, off the kilohertz dial. And there's a signal about 820. You peak that with the pre-selector on the 0.5 to 1 megahertz position. A lot of interference, but the signal's there. Listen to the same signal using the LF converter. We need to switch the LF converter onto 10 kilohertz to 980 kilohertz. And when that's switched in, the pre-selector section and the attenuator and the megacycles um, uh, controls on the RA17 don't work now. The, the, the killer cycles tuning works, but you've got to use the red frequency readout on the kilohertz dial, which actually reads backwards compared with the black normal tuning dial. So they use the red one when you're using the uh, LF converter. So to tune this to uh, 820 kilohertz, the same station we're listening to on the RA17, we would need to tune on the red color, kilohertz dial, and it goes backwards. So go backwards till I get to 820. And we use the pre-selector in the LF unit. So on wideband, you can hear the station there, and 820 the same as before, but we're tuning on the eight red dial now. And you can switch the pre-selector in to the 500 to 8, 980 kilohertz range and tune for a peak on the this meter which is at 820 on this pre-selector scale. To tune to another another station, go on to wideband on the LF unit and tune down the band. Up the band. The station at 980. We can peak it using this, this pre selector down. We'll go down in frequency, see if there's anything below. There's uh, CBC on 690. A lot of interference at this location. But it will, will tune right down to 10 kilohertz using this unit. But very, very few stations down there, if anything. Back in the day there used to be submarines and things down there. So let's, let's now tune to 10 kilohertz and you can peak that. It's just noise.
So now tuning back using the RS17 on its own. <laughs> 